<laughs> you feel it in the blacks. It's Oh yes. Good morning, it's Mike. We're back searching for World War II relics in this beautiful wood here behind me. Um, during the Nazi era, this was used as a, well, a landfill to, uh, to dump trash. And I've uh, been here in the past and uh, we found some good stuff from back in the day. Some, uh, some, some lot of bottles, some, some, some porcelain bits. Uh, even some Winterhuis Werke badges, the small badges the Nazis uh, used for, uh, for the winter relief fund, the charity fund. So yeah, we're, uh, we're excited to be here and uh, I've been digging for like five minutes. And uh, let me just show you around a, a bit to see, uh, to show you, yeah, what, what, what comes out. Um, so I've been digging right here. And uh, all these small items came out, which I lay aside. These, uh, these bottles from uh, back in the day. And uh, I just found this at the surface. An ass, ass. Row and Jeff are digging right there. We brought a sifter too. And actually, my eye caught this. Another bottle just laying at the surface. This place is just uh, mad with uh, so many items. Because uh, if I go this way, you'll see what I mean. And uh, we've been finding, well, good stuff here in the past, and it's always fun to be here. It's uh, it's a little bit different than metal detecting, but uh, it's uh, it's nice things from uh, from the Nazi era. So it's always uh, cool to be here. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll stop talking and start digging, and uh, see you guys uh, when we uh, when we dug up some dirt. We just installed the sifter and uh, the second time around, well, let, let me just first show you what comes out, like these little pieces of, uh, hey, another one. Or is oh. that the one you just dropped? Nope. That's oh, <laughs> that's really cool. Because I wanted to show you a Winterhuiswerk badge Jeff just found. And uh, while talking to you and letting my hands go through the rubbish here, another one comes out. The exact same, uh, Jeff. Yeah, really. It's a cool coincidence. So yeah, this is what we have been doing. I don't know if this shot is really good for you to show you like that. So two Winter uh, Werke badges uh, in the in the second round of the sifter, Jeff. So that's a good yeah. sign. We're at a good spot. Not bad. No, not at all. My uh, friend uh, Stefan uh, joined us and he's been digging too. And he just found this beauty. And uh, we're not sure what it is. Um, maybe one of you guys uh, recognize this. But it's actually uh, has some weight to it. So um, maybe off a car or. Uh, some nice ornament from a furniture or something, but hey, if you know, uh, let me know, okay? I've been digging there, me and Jeff, and sifting everything that comes out. Uh, not a lot of pieces came out, just a couple of coins and uh, some bottles, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. And uh, Stefan is uh, digging here, and he found some. Some nice items too, like this uh, piece of a pocket watch. And, uh, oh yeah, light, nice, like a 
piece of jewelry or a mirror or something. Yeah, maybe a mirror or a, or a picture, picture frame. Oh, that's good too. And um, he also found, uh, what you can probably see in the background right here. This is uh, like a kid's toy with the little balls that you have to move around and uh, get the, the, the small ball in the hole. So yeah, that's nice too from back in the days. And let me just uh, walk over to, uh, to uh, what me and Jeff have been finding so far. Actually, a little bottle here on the surface. There's things everywhere here. And we haven't been at it for that long, for like 30 minutes. Um, but yeah, a lot of things come out. I found this little figure and I think I smashed it. It was probably already broken, but I... Uh, I'll hit it on the on the chest. Yeah, some bottles and uh, this came out too. With the old uh, Nazi era font, that or font type. It's cool too. Yeah, we've been doing good. Oh, uh, yeah, we found a machi bottle. If you see my previous videos, you know. Uh, I like finding these. And uh, of course the, the small items you just found. You know, the, the, the coins, the Winterhuiswerk badge, and uh, this, uh, this, is the, this is a lighter, the bottom half of a lighter. So yeah, that's good. We've been doing good. While digging in this hole, I tossed up the sand right here to sift later on, but check this out. Yes, another Winterhilswerk patch. That is cool, two little soldiers with a, with a mortar. It's bended a bit, but hey, I don't care. It's, it's a good find. The first evil cross of the day, not on the back, as today we usually see them and expect them, but on the front. That's the first for me. And uh, ask the guys, and uh, they never saw that before either. So that's the first. A cool eagle, yes. Another ooh, another ooh. Okay, it's 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 busted on the side, but hey, if you keep it like that, it's in one piece. A German made Coca-Cola bottle and uh, I found Coca-Cola bottles in the past before but they were always American made but this is German made and uh, yeah I love finding these never found one before so uh, I'm happy that Stefan did because he found this at the surface well we're now all digging in our own holes Jeff is there Stefan here way back there and uh, Jeff uh, from his uh, hole dug up something that's quite interesting I didn't know that but uh, Stefan is uh, more experienced than us with uh, with bottles and uh, he found uh, Jeff found a, a poison a poison bottle bottle a gift flusher and there's a nice skull on there to uh, to show that it's very dangerous stuff. But according to uh, Stefan, these are actually worth quite a lot. So uh, interesting find, I didn't know that. I'm gonna search for a gift flusher as well. <laughs> you filled in the blanks. No, it's Ola. It's? Ola. <gasps> Ooh, yes! From this pit right here, Mike is digging. 
uh, while talking to Stefan, who was uh, smoking a, a cigarette next to me, and uh, we found something good. Oh wow! Just look at this. Um, it has to be a parade dagger or or sword. What is it? This sword. Oh, it was longer. It was a sword, a parade sword, man. That's a first. <laughs> wow! I'm very happy with this. And you can imagine that. And you can hear it. And I'm even shaking right now. Damn it! Um, wow! What a find. Let me just get it out of the sun for a bit. Um, see if I can find a good spot. Let's, yes, let's put it here. I'll show the guys a bit later. I'll show you first. And uh, oh wow, we're gonna clean it up with a brush just uh, in a second. But let's just enjoy this, finding this. Man, I'm almost giving up on this pit because a lot of bottles come out, but nothing else. And yeah, now this came out. Oh. <laughs> Um, do we have a brush? Bro, or Jeff, do you want to have the honest? Sure. Wow. We're always good at brushing up things. Man, what luck. It was just on top of the surface too. It wasn't even that deep. Yeah. Sort of lion head, yeah. Lion's head, yeah. yeah. Wow, very cool. Yeah. Even the best part. If I just found the tip, yeah. <laughs> imagine that. But wow, wow. Let me just show you a picture of how it looked like, um, or how it was worn, or maybe I can even find a moving image for you. Um, a bit to the left. What a beauty. Mike's happy. I think I'm entering the more military side of this pit right now because um, next to the sword, this came out a piece of porcelain with uh, with the eagle. Uh, well, the eagle's missing, but uh, the swastika. I think this is Luftwaffe, German Air Force porcelain, which was used in the in the barracks. So uh, yeah, that's military. And uh, just now I found this, which is a small. Bakelite toothpaste box, very nicely marked. As you can see right there, and uh, this was used by Wehrmacht uh, soldiers as well. So yeah, this uh, this is uh, military as well. They found, just found a German, um, well we think it's civil, Nazi era shooting reward. That's a first for me, I've never saw any of these before, so uh, that's a very cool find. What a beauty. Yeah, we've been doing good, so many uh, civil stuff, but also uh, Obviously that it's uh, all things from the Nazi era time period and this proves that again What a cool find This is the stack of bottles we're gonna bring um, But I'm not gonna show you every bottle because it's gonna get boring, but I will show you this one because that's a, a very nice one uh, With an elephant on it not a zebra but an elephant and uh, 
Yeah, thinking about zebras, or talking about zebras, in the previous video I uh, rode a zebra. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. And uh, Amy Way uh, sent me out an electric bike called the, called the Zebra, and uh, yeah, it was big fun riding that. So if you haven't seen last video, please go check it out. What a cool find. Oh man, I, a very uncomfortable situation because I invited Jeff to step in my hole and I said to him as soon as he stepped in, man this feels very uncomfortable, you stepping in my hole. <laughs> um, but it's actually... Uh, it's about this little piece here. Well, yeah, we're gonna have a struggle now because he actually found something very, very good. A Hitler Youth badge. Yeah, it is. Oh! <laughs> Oh, Jeff, man. Jeez. We're in a bit of a pickle here now. Should I clean it a bit? Yeah, yeah. My clean glove. Your clean, not guide glove. Hey, where your, are your guide gloves? 1940. Oh, jeez. What a beauty. You have found this before? Yeah. Oh, then it's not a pickle. <laughs> yeah, it's mine. Yeah. Well, I'm doing good today, so I'm having no complaints whatsoever. But oh, man. you can trade it for the sword, by the way. No, I won't. No. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but what a fine man, what a beauty. Well yeah, done, man. It is. Eagle eye. Another Hitler Youth badge, and I have to correct myself because the last badge was a Winter Hughes badge, and, and, and this one is probably two, yeah. I uh, think so too. Yeah. yeah. Wow, another one. Things are coming out now. These uh, Winter Hughes Werke badges are also always so nice to find and uh, yeah. Clean oh, this one has a date on it. Complete date. Wow. Beauty, man. What's the date? 34. That's 34. Early. That's an early one. Yeah. Well done, man. One find on the left is, the f is something Raoul found in his pit. Uh, what we believe uh, a grenade-shaped lighter. We've been finding those in the past as well, so that's a very nice intact one. And the one on the right is uh, a piece of jewelry that just uh, came out of the sifter. It's probably glass, but hey, it's still a nice find. So uh, both are actually Raul is shooting pictures for his Instagram. Uh, go check that out because uh, he has a good channel. Instagram, no, I should say Instagram account. Um, but yeah, he found something good. Yeah. And he almost wanted to toss it out because he thought it was a, a top of a lid or something or something worthless. But what I believe this is a party pin um, or they had these rallies every once in a while the the nazis and uh they gave out these pins as some sort of souvenir so i think it's one of these if i'm wrong let me know okay i have a lot of experts in uh watching my videos who always comment and complain and i don't know anything but i think this is hey you can also give me a compliment every now and then you toxic bastards <laughs> but uh yeah what a cool find Three things that caught my very sharp hawk eye eyes. <laughs> uh, to be honest, it didn't. Uh, except for this bottle, but Jeff said, hey, then next to the bottle is uh, something much better. Another Winterhels Werk badge. I actually have this one in my collection. Uh, um, these are little swaths and uh, combined together. Can you uh, help me with the brush, Jeff? Yeah, sure. it's, I think it's somewhere behind me. Yeah. And uh, while Jeff is looking for a brush, I also found a pencil sharpener and uh, this small bottle. But yeah, you've been seeing a lot of bottles. So let's just stick to the badges and the, the cool finds. And there's a lot of text on the back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is probably much more interesting. The, the 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 front or the back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a very, that's it. Both is. Yeah. These uh, 
ornamented swastikas, yeah. Well, they were very creative back in the time with, uh, with the swas. Symbol of luck, yeah, I know. In the Indian culture, it's a, it's a massively good symbol of fortune, but also been uh, used by Nazis as the, the symbol of death and destruction. Raul is starting to get cocky now because uh, he found another one <laughs> and uh, he's just mouthing me off like hey, Need it for the video Mike? <sighs> yeah sure come on, let me, let show, let's show, let show the dear people what you found again Yeah, another one of those party members pins and I think they call them tinnies um, And uh, yeah, you can see a 33 on there so uh, another one, was it next to the other one? Yeah. Oh, no. We just found an Opecta bottle. Let me just pan out a bit so you can see. Um, the logo is right there. Opecta. Um, yeah, the Opecta bottles are very highly sought after because uh, it's associated to uh, Anne Frank, the girl in, uh, in Amsterdam, who uh, the Jew girl who was sent off to the to the death camps of uh, of the Nazis. Her father run um, one of the uh, factories that was located in Amsterdam of Opecta. So uh, these are very uh, these are very wanted. I found those in the past as well, so uh, it's always good to find them. Okay, uh, we need a beer and a burger. And uh, let me just give you a roundup of what we found today. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll come back at you to say goodbye. But first of all, let me do a roundup. Let me just stand up for a second to, uh, to show you a bit of what we found between the, I guess the three of us. Yeah, Raul has some items there as well, but between the three of us, we found so many good items. Um, let's just start off. Well, let's just start off from, from right to left, okay? Two of those Machi bottles. Yeah, and this, uh, this nice decorated bottle too. Man, there's so much to, uh, to name. Sometimes bottles come out so uh, so perfectly with uh, the labels and all intact. Good thing we found a Coke bottle. We found uh, in total um, six Opecta bottles, as you can see. Raoul just found some at the surface. And in there is uh, the poisonous bottle. Also found this, this might be fun uh, to show you. A piggy bank. Not sure if I did. But if not, there you go. A piggy bank intact, but nothing in there. Yeah, and a Coke bottle, I already talked about that. I'm happy with that, by the way. More bottles. Now we come to the Winterhuiswerk section. And this beautiful little lady we found. Let me just uh just pulled out this one from the edge. What did he do? He just pulled out something good. Yeah, Raoul is still digging. Oh nice. Tin soldier. Very cool. I'll just put it here for now. And uh let's go here and see what we got here on the little dish. Yeah, the little lady figure, it was nice. Lots of these badges. We found three of these. The winter of the Winterhuiswerke Hitler Youth badge. Another Winterhuiswerke badge. Two of these little birds. My finger's in a way. Sorry about that. Two of these little birds. 
these the exact same so weird um, the soldiers with the mortar and then another Hitler youth an interview's very badge so yeah oh also this a uh, plaque and it says spoken and there's no word in German that has spoken so it must be an English English sign but uh, unfortunately I didn't find the other half but yeah what I find uh, if only I could find the other half we could figure out what it might have said thank you all for watching uh, first of all I want to thank my patrons for uh, helping the channel out uh, keep the wheels rolling your names are right here and they are here. Thank you, my patrons. Um, hey, if you like the video and you're not subscribed yet, go give it a, a sub, okay? It, uh, it really helps out the channel a bit, and uh, I appreciate it if you would. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you, Raul and Jeff, uh, for, uh, for a fun day. And uh, if you want to see what they've been finding without me, their Instagram page is right here or below. Just. Uh, Put something below. Hey, you found something nice. A bonus. Uh, some bonus content for you. Did you just call me Mr. Piggy? I'm not sure if it picks it up over. It stays focused on my uh, my piggy face. Anyway, with that uh, bonus find, I uh, want to say goodbye to you and uh, hope to uh, catch you next time. Bye for me, Raul and uh, Mr. Piggy. Bye bye. <laughs>